Welcome to Devs Toolkit, the channel where we clean up the mess made by others. Today is Thursday and Thursdays are dedicated to answering your questions. If there is something I can help with, please post it as a comment in this or any other video. Channel members have the preference, so you might consider joining. Why not? Today's question is about crossplane. How can we manage resources that were not created by crossplane? Here's the situation I imagine the person who asked that question might be in. Someone created some resources in one of the hyperscalers. That could be a VM in Google Cloud, a database in AWS, a cluster in Azure, or anything else. Those resources could have been created through a console, or through Terraform, or through custom scripts, or any other way. It does not matter how those resources came into existence. The only thing that matters is that something is running somewhere and that we would like to use Crossplane to manage not only new resources, but also those that already exist. How can we do that? Here's a VM I created through the Google Cloud Console. I know that I should not have done that, but I did. The important thing to notice is that the VM is there, but also that it is not running. And now comes the question. How would they start managing that VM with Crossplane, even if it wasn't created by it? Here's a Crossplane definition of a VM. It happens to have the same name as the one I created manually, it's in the same region, and the rest of the parameters are probably the same as well. The only obvious difference is that its desired status is set to running, while my VM is currently stopped. What would happen if I apply that manifest to my control plane, you know, the cluster where Crossplane is running? What would the outcome be? If you list all the resources managed by Crossplane, we can see that it's there, but not yet ready. If we go back to Google Cloud Console, we can notice a few things. First of all, Crossplane did not create a new VM. Second, the status of the VM initially created without Crossplane is updating. Here's the important note. Crossplane does not care whether the resource we want to manage with it already exists or doesn't. It makes no assumptions of the actual state. Instead, it always goes to the API of the provider, asks for the information about a specific resource, and based on what it gets in response, makes decision what to do. If that resource does not exist, it will create it. If it exists, it will update it if its actual state differs from what we specified, or it will do nothing if those are the same. In this specific case, it discovered that a VM named MyVM already exists, but its actual state differs from the desired. It saw that the VM was stopped while we specified that it should be running. So it started the process to reconcile that drift, and soon the VM will be running. We can observe that by describing the resource. We can see that it did not request creation of the VM, but instead it asked Google Cloud to update it. It is reconciling the drift. If a few moments later we retrieve all managed resources again, we can see that it is now ready, meaning that what we specified is exactly the same as what that resource or that VM actually is. All in all, we can use Crossplane to manage not only new resources, but to take over management of existing ones as well. As long as we specify the desired state to match the actual one, we can let Crossplane take over control of anything. However, things are not always that easy. In some cases, resources cannot be named, so Crossplane might not be able to find the resources we might already be running. And we can demonstrate that through VPCs in AWS. I created one manually. It looks like its name is my VPC. However, VPCs cannot be named in AWS. They get automatically assigned ID and what looks like a name is actually only a tag and tags can be any. As a matter of fact, we can see that the VPC above the one I created does not even have a tag name. Now, let's take a look at that same VPC defined as a Crossplane resource. That's an AWS VPC named MyVPC. From Crossplane's perspective, that is not a random tag, but an identifier. That's what Crossplane will be looking for in AWS, and as we saw a moment ago, VPC identifiers are auto-generated. Let's see what happens if you apply that manifest. If you go back to AWS console, we can see that a completely, completely new VPC was created. Crossplane asked AWS whether it has a VPC, my VPC, and AWS said no. That was to be expected, since from AWS perspective, that VPC is identified through the auto-generated ID, which is certainly not my VPC. So Crossplane created a new one. We can fix that. We can. But 
Before we do, let's delete that resource and confirm that it was removed from AWS as well. Now we can start over. And here's the correct way to define that VPC that already exists in AWS. The only difference is in the external name annotation that is set to the auto-generated ID of the VPC. You see, internally, Crossplane adds such an annotation automatically to every resource it creates and manages. More often than not, that annotation is the same as the name. But in cases when IDs are auto-generated by providers, as is the case with VPCs, that annotation might differ from the name. In cases where we want uh, Crossplane to take over control of existing resources with auto-generated IDs, all we have to do is add that annotation so that Crossplane knows what to look for. Similarly, I could have put that same ID as the resource name instead, but I like to keep those two clean. Now, let's see whether it will work by applying that resource and retrieving all managed resources. We can see that from Crossplane's perspective, the VPC is ready. That does not mean that it was created or updated, but rather that there is no drift between the two. What we want and what something is, is now the same, no matter whether that something had to be created, updated, or there was nothing for Crossplane to do. We can confirm that by going back to the AWS console and we can see that this time it did not create a new VPC. Instead, it took control of the existing VPC. From now on, if you make any changes to the Crossplane resource, that change or those changes will be propagated to AWS. Crossplane is now controlling that VPC. That's it. But wait, before we leave, remember to post your questions in comments and consider joining the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.